Captain's log, Stardate, 87318.7. Just under a month ago, Alliance Command dispatched two ships, the USS Temere and the USS Chimera, to search for the Krenum Imperium. We were successful in finding what remained of them, and discovered that they had escaped the Vard while hunting them, by displacing themselves in time, rendering themselves invisible to anyone not displaced as well. The war, even then, was going badly, and their temporal manipulation technology seemed like the answer we had been looking for. But just days after that, the Iconians attacks increased and it became clear that we didn't have time to wait for the development of the so-called time ship they had planned, and it was decided that a direct approach was necessary. And so, with the combined fleets of the Alliance powers, we attacked their primary sphere, from which their gateway network was maintained. Barely an hour after the Vanguard attacked, it became clear that we had woefully underestimated the Herald fleet protecting the Sphere, and, in a last desperate effort to swing the battle in our favor, a few ships, including ours, followed a disabled Iconian flagship retreating through a gateway into the Sphere. We boarded the ship, and actually managed to fatally wound one of the Iconians. But, with her last breath, Matara summoned two of her sister Iconians, and we were forced to retreat. And as we exited the sphere, we found a starship graveyard. We rescued what survivors we could, and then retreated with all haste through the Jaret system gateway and back to command at the Kiana system, where we found the handful of damaged vessels that had survived the battle. In our desperation, we made a fatal mistake and traded thousands of Alliance lives for a single Iconian. With hope of winning this war conventionally all but gone, we have been ordered to the Kiana system once again to witness the launch of our last hope.